the template infobox deity is being considered for merging. Bhavanishi is a form of Parashakti who is worshipped in Maharashtra by Agris of Boyer, and also by Rajputs of North Gujarat, Northern Karnataka, Western Rajasthan, and Punjab. Bhavani translates to giver of life, meaning the power of nature or the source of creative energy. She is considered to be a mother who provides to her devotees and also plays the role of dispensing justice by killing Asuras. Bhavani was the protective patron deity of the Maratha king Shivaji, in whose veneration he dedicated his sword, Bhavani Talwar. Many Marathi folk stories celebrate her. Shivaji's mother was said to be a great devotee of Bhavani. The town of Tuliapur in Maharashtra is the location of the annual Tulia Bhavani Fair during Navaratra, and home to the Tulia Bhavani Temple which dates to the 12th century. The temple contains a granite icon of the goddess, one meter in height, with eight arms holding weapons and the head of the slain demon Mahishasura. The word Bhavani translates to giver of life, meaning the power of nature or the source of creative energy. She is an aspect of Parvati and considered to be a mother who provides to her devotees and also plays the role of dispensing justice by killing Asuras. According to the Shiva Purana, Bhavani is the supreme goddess and the consort of Lord Bhava. Bhavani One of the names of the goddess, Devi, who is regarded as the female principle of the divine, the embodiment of the energies of the gods. Bhavani is an epithet of the goddess, who incarnated as Sati, according to the Shiva Purana 2. 2. 14. Accordingly, as Brahma narrated to Narada, on seeing the mother of the universe born of Varvini, Daksa joined his palms in reverence, paid respects to her, and eulogized her, O mother of the universe, those who eulogize thee with the names of Bhavani, Ambika, Jagan Maya and Durga will have everything. The goddess has a great variety of names referable to her various forms, attributes, and actions but these names are not always used accurately and distinctively. As the mother of the world, she is Gauri, Ambika or Jagat Janani. In her fiercer form, she is Durga, the inaccessible. The Tulia Bhavani Temple in Tuliapur in the Osmanabad district of Maharashtra is considered one of the 51 Shaktipithas. This temple was built close to the 12th century CE. Another Tulia Bhavani temple was constructed between 1537 and 1540 CE in Chittagong, located at coordinates 18 degrees 0041 and 76 degrees 0732 E, Thamoniyata Hashar. 011386 degrees and 76. 125641 degrees E, 18. 011386, 76. 125641 Worship of the Primeval Energy, Shakti in the form of the mother goddess is seen in the four Shakti Pithas of Maharashtra, Bhavani, with her seat at Tuliapur, Mahalakshmi at Kolhapur, Mahamaya Renuka at Mahur, and Saptashrangi at Vani. Sri Bhavani Amman is also worshipped in the state of Tamil Nadu. Other Shakti temples in the Maharashtra state are those at Ambajagai and Ond. Goddess Bhavani giving the sword to Shivaji, at Tuliapur. The goddess Bhavani is held in great reverence throughout Maharashtra. She is considered to be an embodiment of Ugra or ferocity, as well as a Karunaswarupani, an embodiment of mercy. A number of castes, subcastes, and families from Maharashtra consider her their family deity or Kuladavada. The Bhavani Temple in Tuliapur is located on a hill known as Yamanashala, on the slopes of the Sahayadri Range in Maharashtra near Solapur. The temple entrance is elevated and visitors ascend a flight of steps to reach the shrine. Historic records speak of the existence of this temple from as early as the 12th century CE. Bhavani is worshipped in the form of a granite image, three feet tall, with eight arms that hold weapons and one hand in a bayamadra. She kills the demon Mahishasura in four different forms which are Katyayani, Mahalakshmi, Ugrekanda and Bhadrakali. Legend says that a demon by the name of Matan wreaked havoc upon the devas and humans, who approached Brahma for help. Upon his advice, they turned to the mother goddess Shakti. She took the form of the destroyer and, empowered by the other Saptamatrika, vanquished the demon and allowed the restoration of peace. Legend also describes how Bhavani vanquished another demon who had taken the form of a wild buffalo, Mahishasura. Later, she is said to have taken a boat on the Yamanashala hill, which is now home to the temple. Bhavani is said to have come here to save a new booty from the demon known as Kukur. In a battle with the goddess, Kukur took the form of a buffalo, Bhavani cut his head, then he started coming in his original form. At that time, she penetrated her trident in his chest. Hence, she is in form of Mahishasura Mardini Durga. 
Four worship services are offered at the temple each day. The festivals of special significance are Gudi Padwa in the month of Chaitra, Shriral Sashti, Lalita Panchami, Makara Sankranti, and Radhe Saptami. The statue of the deity is taken out in procession on Tuesdays. Navaratra is also celebrated with great fanfare, and it culminates in Vijaya Dasami. Sri Bhavani Devi is said to be Adi Parashakti herself, and the name Bhavani has several meanings. According to Lalita Sahasranamam, Bhavani means the deity who always helps devotees gain mukti. Adi Shankara said, A person who recites the name Bhavani with true devotion thrice every day will not acquire sorrow, sin, illness, and unexpected death. People occasionally confuse Bhavani Devi with Renuka Devi, however, their stories are different. There are many texts which name Bhavani as the wife of Sadasiva. A shrine to goddess Bhavani. The image of Tulia Bhavani is made of black stone, about three feet in height and two feet in width. The face of the goddess is described as beautiful and smiling. The goddess is asked Abuja Durga. Her long hair is coming out of the crown. She has a quiver on her back. The sun and the moon are present. Her lion stands near her. The image is self-manifested and movable. It is moved three times a year from its place to the bedroom of Ma Bhavani. Below the lion, sage Markandeya is chanting the Durga Saptashati shlokas. The lady sage Anubuti is on the left side of the goddess, she is in a hanging position and is meditating on the goddess. It is Chalamorti, moved thrice a year during the long sleeping periods of Ma Bhavani. The face of Sati had fallen in Tuliapur, and due to this the face is decorated with saris and ornaments. Thanks for watching.